to all. I'm Paul LaViolette. People tend to put uh, concepts into boxes, and the superwave idea can't be easily put in a box. It's quite complex and complicated. Um, people tend to think that I am proposing uh, exterminations of animals on the earth by superwaves, and I'm not. All the superwave does is it brings cosmic dust into the solar system, and that's the problem, is the dust, and the dust is uh, the sun sort of draws it in and then it surrounds the sun and heats up the sun. The, the star is going to get very aggravated. It's not going to be like solar cycles, you know. It's going to be continual flaring, causing more catastrophes than meteorites and comets hitting the Earth. They, they occur more frequently. Core explosions, they call them, a galactic core explosions, they occur cyclically. These things uh, do happen quite frequently, but superwave uh, cataclysms can last, in one case, 4,000 years, like uh, at the time of the extinction of Neanderthals. We don't see them coming. It takes us by surprise. You know, you, you see the bluish-white star in the sky. Uh, that indicates the core has exploded and is putting out maybe 100,000 times more energy than it was before. And that creates a sort of a galactic wind that pushes this dust into the solar system. It overpowers the solar wind. And then, uh, so to speak, all hell breaks loose in our solar system. These uh, dark clouds start coming in, the strange forms in the sky, uh, luminous, leery features in the sky. The first three days would probably be the worst, based on uh, seeing an eruption that happened recently in another galaxy. Um, so you should try to get cover, you know, tunnel or somewhere underground to escape the radiation because, you know, super wave, it's not as bad as, as, as the sun, but it can pack quite a wallop for radiation. Uh, the killer radiation, though, comes from the sun, and that's when the super wave with its cosmic dust has aggravated the sun to the point of... Uh, super flare size, like what killed the, uh, the large mammals, the megafauna at the end of the Pleistocene. And we see evidence of these having happened uh, during the Ice Age, in particular. A bunch of dust came into the solar system around 13,000 years ago. Um, and then we were hit with the big super solar flare. It caused climate to go from Ice Age cold to current temperatures just in a matter a matter of days. Um, so here the mammoths were there, and then when the solar flare hit, it kind of flash melted the surface of the ice sheet, produced all these lakes up there. And then you had these dam breakings, and then one lake dumped into the next, and you got these this avalanche that came down. And it was just a wall of water going maybe a few hundred miles an hour coming forward, maybe half a mile high, and hundreds if not thousand kilometers long. And uh, anything in its wake would just get pulverized and deposited, bones and everything. Magnetic uh, reversals are caused by these solar events, uh, these super solar flares. Like at the time of the uh, extinction of Neanderthal, uh, that occurred about 41,000 years ago, and that reversal was very rapid. In my dissertation and then the first paper I published about superwaves, I had proposed that these reversals are due to solar flares, and these create a, a magnetic field opposed to the Earth's magnetic field. So they end up weakening the Earth's field to the point where it almost goes to zero, and we see this 
at the time of the Neanderthal extinction. The field went to only 5% of its current level. And during that time, there's no protection. And all those solar cosmic rays come in, and well, they got the lethal dose. Now, why we, the humans, managed to survive we, it may be we stayed in our caves. Uh, it happened at the time they died off was right at the time of the biggest superwave event in the last 100,000 years. I mean, it's the highest brilliant 10 peak in the record there. And in, in Earth Under Fire, I, uh, for example, I study uh, flood myths from all over the world, uh, myths about the sun burning the Earth. Um, about the people going in caves uh, to get away from the catastrophe and so on, stuff like that. Science has not, still has not caught up. I mean, they're going to finally learn it a little too late when the superwave arrives, I think, which might be quite soon. But uh, we'll see. Unfortunately, it's a very depressing situation. 